He looks down at me and says, oh, hi, can I help you with something? And I look up and it's Taya Leone. No joke. She's staring at me. I go, oh, hi, nice to meet you. She goes, oh, can I get you something? Or did you like it? Hey everyone, my name is Vince Palco with GPRS. We're back for another safety chat. We have a special guest on the line, along with uh, another person here in the marketing department, Chase Follin. Uh, Chase, welcome. Our special guest today is Dave Mulcahy. Uh, he is our West BDM uh, manager. Dave, welcome to the, the video chat. Good to be here, Vince. We have a little more energy. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so thanks for your time and getting on the line here with us. We are going to talk leak detection this morning. Uh, so if you can kind of just give us a little background on who you are and how long you've been with the company, and that'll be a great place to start. Absolutely. Uh, so I've been with uh, GPRS now for almost nine years. Uh, and I can't, I've been in the industry for almost 16 years. Uh, I'm actually, uh, personally, I'm a, a third generation underground locating technician. My grandfather was a uh, leak detector and, and line locator. Uh, my, my dad, my father actually still is a leak detection expert and uh, utility locator. And I've got several brothers in the industry as well, uncles. It's uh, definitely in the family blood to Look for stuff underground, for sure. And uh, I actually, before working with GPRS, I used to sell leak detection equipment as well. So I, I traveled around and uh, demonstrated, it, it actually showed the equipment, sold the equipment, did leak detections myself to, uh, to show them how the devices work. So ladies and gentlemen, we have an expert on the line who knows a thing or two about leak detection. So where do we start with leak detection? I guess the first question I have is, why do business owners need this service? Like what, what is, let's start there in terms of like what industries need it and why businesses uh, would require this service? Absolutely. Uh, so leak detection, if we're, we'll start talking mostly about water leak detection. Water leak detection is a, a huge, huge industry across the states, across the world, right? Uh, most municipalities actually call it lost revenue water. So this is water that they're processing, they're spending the money on getting it drinkable, they're getting it potable for you and me, and on the way to where it's going, they're losing it. Or a lot of times, even for a business owner, for a residence, uh, they're actually losing it after the meter. So Dave, you were talking about water loss and you were talking about pro public and private water loss. You were talking about before the meter, after the meter. Can you explain to our viewers, what do you mean by all that? Yeah, you bet. Uh, here, I'll do this real quick. So um, we'll do we'll do like a street, right? Okay, so the street, this is where your main water line is running down the street and then it comes into a property. Okay, so... Yep. In a lot of locations, you're going to have your meter for that property here, maybe a, a buried vault or something like that. Here's your meter. OK, now, if you had water loss on this side out in the street, that's typically what they call public water loss. That would be like the municipalities. They're losing that water that they're producing and it's not getting they're losing it before they're even billing for it. OK, but. Let's, I mean, let's just call this a, a, a theme park or something here. I'll do a little roller coaster and uh, you know, a little hut over here that sells churros. Who knows? Whatever. <laughs> so I love it. This is the theme park. Okay. And now this water line is going to come in and it's going to feed this whole park. Okay. You got little hydrants over here and different things, but this is going to feed the entire park. Now, any water loss that comes in here. That theme park is paying for that, okay? All this water is coming through the meter, so they're paying for that water. It's going into the ground, and that's water lost. Now, that would be the private side. So we'll do the you know, private. And over here, we've got the public. Someone's still paying for it. Yep. Someone's still paying for this, but it depends on who it is. Is it the municipality that's producing the water, or is it the 
private side. Doodle time with Dave, not big Dave, Dave. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, that's interesting. So quick question going, diving into that process. How do they get in the pipes to discover the leaks? Is it a camera? Is it some sort of, I mean, what, what are we talking about here? Uh, uh, again, great question. Uh, a lot of people probably don't know. Most leak detection is done acoustically. So listening. Uh, when water is exiting the pipe, it, it is making a noise. Uh, again, uh, imagine if you uh, you screw two valves together and water, uh, like two hoses, you turn on the hose full blast and you don't have a proper seal, you hear that water shooting out of that connection point, you can hear that, there's a vibration. Uh, so we use, typically, we use stethoscopes or listening devices that are electronically enhanced to listen for that vibration leaving the pipe. Now there's several other different devices that you can use. Um, we have these devices called correlators, where it actually electronically listens on the pipe, you would maybe set that on uh, a hydrant, a fire hydrant, and you would set another device on another fire hydrant, and you would tell the machine uh, there's 200 foot of pipe. Uh, it is a six inch uh, steel pipe, and it will calculate where that noise is coming from and tell you that leak is 150 feet from hydrant one and 50 feet from hydrant two, there's the leak. So there's some pretty sophisticated equipment out there to do this leak detection stuff. I, I got a little fun story of, yeah. a, uh, of a leak detection that I did. Um, so my Christmas breaks uh, involve going on leak detections with my dad, right? So uh, I get to go out and do these different jobs and be in different situations. So I got I mentioned we, most of this is done acoustically. You're listening for these leaks. We show up to this job site and we're in the Hollywood Hills amazing beautiful home that we're, we're walking into that has a leak and we're walking in and my dad just kind of taps me on the shoulder as we're walking to meet the plumber who hired us uh, he taps me on the shoulder and he says the leak's right there i said well, what do you mean he goes i can hear it it's right there i said that that's incredible but he didn't want to charge them just for walking up and saying he leaks here so he went through the whole process and um it, so we did of course which involved me climbing into this person's basement, a wonderful, beautiful basement with lots of lovely cobwebs and a tiny little crawl space. But I weaseled through this little basement. I got to back to where the water line was. I hooked up our equipment. We did the test. And sure enough, not six inches away from exactly where he pointed, <laughs> uh, that's where the leak was. So I unhooked the equipment. I'm coming back out, and again, now I, I got a hat on, I've covered in cobwebs, and I poke my head out from the crawl space, and this very beautiful woman looks down at me, and she says, oh, hi, can I help you with something? And I look up, and it's Taya Leone. No joke. She's staring at me, and I go, oh, hi, nice to meet you. She goes, oh, can I get you something? Did you like a, a, a water? I, no, I'm, I'm good. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, so that was kind of a fun little story that uh, I got to meet Taya Leone with cobwebs all over my face. My best <laughs> moment, <laughs> for sure. I got to tell you, Al Michaels, another guy, got a lot of leaks in his house. <laughs> so <I got> to. <laughs> well, very good. Thank you both for your time today, Jason, Dave. Uh, awesome to be with you both. Um, if you have any questions about the material we covered, make sure to put a comment below this video. Send us an email. And uh, we'll see you again real soon. Thank you all. Thanks, Vince. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another edition of Safety Chat. My name is Vince Palco with GPRS. On the line, I've got Chase Folan and Dave Mokolhe. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Cut it. I got to get one of those out of there. That's good. <laughs> oh, <Got> gosh. This? <laughs> it's a good thing you're good looking. Jeez. <laughs> My mother always said I had a face for radio. Okay. Yeah. Two.
one.